Throughout this series, you've learned how to make yourself an incredibly automated factory. You can automate everything from cobblestone to brass, and even generate resources from nothing. You've made a tunnel ball to hollow out the planet, and a chocolate factory that could feed a nation. Electron tubes, they're no longer a hassle, and farming really couldn't be any easier. And as this series comes to a close, here are five mini builds that will brighten up your day and make your modded adventure a breeze. So the first machine that is an absolute must for your world is going to be the Shafter. This tiny little machine here, this is going to allow you to turn one of your andesite alloys into six shafts. All we'd need to do is throw in some andesite alloy, it will then automatically turn those andesite alloys into shafts. And building it honestly couldn't be any easier, so we're going to start off with a mechanical saw, then in front of the saw we're going to pop down a two long belt, a barrel on the right side, an andesite funnel going into the barrel, a temporary block, a barrel, and another andesite funnel. Then around the other side you're going to grab yourself a gearbox, pop it in here, and that's the build complete. So add some rotational power, we're going to pop an andesite alloy into the barrel, that'll then get sawn down into six shafts. It honestly couldn't be any easier than that. Machine number two is going to be the Cogger. This machine is a must have for your wheel because you are going to need an extraordinarily large amount of cogs in order to do anything with create. And it's another easy one to make, so we're going to place down a temporary block and a barrel, break the temporary block, then behind our barrel we're going to place down three shafts and we're going to connect those together with a belt. On the centre of the belt we're going to place down a deployer, we're going to connect that deployer up with two vertical gearboxes and a shaft. On the other end of the belt we're going to place down another temporary block and a barrel, break the block, then we need to add in two andesite funnels, and then finally on top of our deployer we're going to place down a chute and a barrel. And all we need to do is throw some shafts into the barrel on the belt and some planks above our deployer, and that's going to give us a decent amount of cogs. That's why the cogger makes it onto our list. Machine number three is going to be our Vaultificator. They store a large quantity of items and they allow for quite easy vertical transport in your machines. It's a slightly more expensive craft because we are going to be using some brass items, but 100% worth it. So we're starting off with a barrel. Facing into that barrel, we need to place down a mechanical crafter and then two additional mechanical crafters on top of that. Then behind the build, we are going to place down four temporary blocks. On the second two, we are going to place down two depots. So we're going to take a mechanical arm now. We're going to right click on our depot. Then we're going to double right click on our middle mechanical crafter. And then we're going to pop this down right here. Then we're going to take another mechanical arm, we're going to right click on our closest depot and that's going to deposit items into the top and bottom mechanical crafter and that's going to live right here. Remove the temporary blocks. Then behind our depots we're going to place down another four temporary blocks. On the furthest block we're going to place down a barrel and on the closest block we're going to place down another depot. Then off the side of that depot we're going to add another temporary block and on top of that one another barrel and you can remove all the temporary blocks. On our highest barrel we're going to add an andesite funnel, on our depot we need a brass funnel, and then on our left hand barrel we're going to add another andesite funnel. On our brass funnel we need to set the filter to be iron sheets, and on our highest depot we're going to add in a mechanical press. Then moving around to the front we're going to add a cogwheel to our top mechanical crafter, a vertical gearbox going into the back of that, then on the side of our mechanical arm we're going to add another cogwheel, then on the side of our gearbox we're going to add in a shaft, another vertical gearbox, another shaft and another vertical gearbox. In our top barrel we need to add in some iron ingots and in our bottom barrel we need to add in some barrels. Barrels inside barrels, I know, who would have thought it? Then if we supply a little bit of rotational power you'll see that we are now making item vaults automatically. That's why the vaultificator is on my list. Build number four is going to be more of a personal choice. This is something that I enjoy, but I actually love building with stone bricks. That's why the stone bricker is going to make my list. All this machine does is it turns our cobblestone into stone bricks. Kind of boring, but I really just want to have access to a ton of stone bricks when I actually want to build with them. And again, I understand it's more of a personal choice. You can probably modify this for whatever bricks you actually like to build with. I feel like a similar concept is going to hold true for whatever you like to build with. So we're going to start with a temporary block and on top of that block we're going to place down a barrel. On top of that barrel we need to place down an andesite funnel, make sure it's facing down. Break the temporary block. Behind the barrel we're going to place down a depot and going into that depot we're going to place down four mechanical crafters. On the back of the crafter we're going to right click on these joints here to make it into a single crafter. Then in front of our depot we're going to place down a temporary block, we're going to take a mechanical arm, right click on our depot and our funnel and we're going to place that arm then on our temporary block and break the temporary block. Behind our mechanical arm we're going to add in a depot and another depot goes down here. On that top depot we're going to add in a brass funnel and we're going to filter that for stone. 
Then we're going to take another mechanical arm. We're going to right click on our depot. We're going to double right click on one of our mechanical crafters. And then right below this crafter on the left, we're going to place down our mechanical arm. In front of our top mechanical crafter, we're going to place down a barrel. And then we're going to have a brass funnel coming out of that. On top of that funnel, we're going to place down a temporary block. And we're going to surround that block with some shafts. And on top of that temporary block, we're going to place down an encased fan and make sure that it is facing down. Then underneath that encased fan, we're going to place down some lava. Then at the front of the machine, right next to our barrel, we're going to place down a cogwheel. Underneath that, we're going to place down another cogwheel. Then moving around to the right, we're going to place down two additional cogwheels. Then coming around to the left, we're going to place one more, connecting this mechanical arm down here. Next to our bottom left crafter, we're going to have another cogwheel. On the back of that, we're going to place down a vertical gearbox. Another cogwheel underneath, and then connecting to our other mechanical crafter, we're going to have another cogwheel. On top of that vertical gearbox, we're going to have three shafts. Then on top of our encased fan, we're going to have another vertical gearbox, another shaft, and finally, another vertical gearbox. Then, if we supply some rotational power and throw some cobblestone into our barrel, you'll see that it gets put onto this depot to get turned into stone. That stone then makes its way down onto this depot here, which the mechanical arm then puts into our mechanical crafters. That crafter then spits it out onto the depot, which eventually gets put into the barrel. So that's fast and simple stone bricks, and that's why the stone bricker is on my list. And build number five is going to fix the biggest problem in Minecraft. So let me introduce you to the better glasser. One of the most annoying features of Minecraft is going to be glass. Glass has got this annoying border around every single piece of glass that you pop down. Whereas Create, Create has got the framed glass and it is magnificent. This is what Minecraft glass wishes it could be. And that's why the better glasser deserves a spot on our list. Now this is quite a compact build. I've managed to shrink this down to a very small footprint. So if you are following along at home, I don't judge you if you need to pause the video. So to start off, we're going to place down a barrel. On top of there, we're going to place down a funnel. Behind our barrel, we're going to place down a depot, and to the left of that, we're going to place down a mechanical saw. We're going to set the filter to framed glass. Now, you can make your first framed glass in a stone cutter, or you can just use a regular filter. Next to the saw, we need to place down a depot, and to the left of that, we're going to place down a temporary block and another depot. On the top depot, we're going to place down a brass funnel, and we're going to filter that for regular glass. Then behind this depot, we're going to place down a temporary block. On top of that block, we need to place on a barrel. And on that barrel, we're going to place down a brass funnel. Now, on top of our lower brass funnel, we're going to add in a temporary block. Then above our mechanical saw, we're going to hold down crouch and we're going to place down an encased fan, making sure it's facing into our temporary block. Then either side of our temporary block, we're going to add in two shafts. We're going to break the temporary block and on our encased fan, we're going to place in some lava. Now, behind our first depot and our saw, we're going to place down two temporary blocks. We're going to take a mechanical arm, and on our left-hand depot here, we're going to right-click once, and we're going to deposit that into the funnel. And we're going to place the arm on the first temporary block. Then, making sure you've definitely set the filter on your mechanical saw, we're going to crouch down, and we're going to place on top an andesite funnel. Then, with another mechanical arm, we're going to right-click on our right-hand depot, right-click on our andesite funnel. On this temporary block here, we're going to pop down our second arm and break the temporary blocks. Now coming around to the front of the machine, on our mechanical arm we're going to place down a cogwheel, underneath that we're going to place down a vertical gearbox and a second one right behind it, then we need to place down a regular gearbox here to power our mechanical saw, then moving around to the left side of the build, on our mechanical saw we're going to place down another vertical gearbox, in 90 degrees and place down another one on top of it, and then on the side of that gearbox we're going to place down a rotational speed controller. We're going to add in our large cogwheel, and then finally, on the back of our encased fan, we're going to place down a regular gearbox. Then if we add some rotational power, we put some sand in our furthest barrel. We can come to our rotational speed controller, and we're going to scroll this all the way down to 1 RPM. Then once that sand cooks, it's going to get turned into glass. That glass is then going to make its way onto our mechanical saw, get put onto this depot down here, picked up by a mechanical arm, put into our funnel, and we have got the best glass. That's why the better glasser is on this list. This machine is wonderful. It fixes one of the most annoying problems in Minecraft. So there we go. Do you agree with my list? Let me know if I've missed anything off. This world isn't ending. We are going to be keeping this series going as and when we need more tutorials. But if you did enjoy yourself and you learned something new, then be sure to hit that subscribe button as you are not going to want to miss whatever mod pack comes next. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.